Well, welcome back to Scouting for History, and welcome to an episode reviewing the Nocta Acupoint. Before we begin, three quick things. First of all, if you watch my channel, you know I'm not sponsored by anybody. Nobody pays me, nobody gives me anything. We pay for all this stuff ourselves, so thanks for nothing. <gasps> <clears throat> so I buy all my equipment, so my reviews are mine. Nobody owns them. Now number two, I've had the AccuPoint for over a month now. I know I just posted the video of my first hunt with the AccuPoint. Um, but uh, I've had it for about uh, 10 hunts now just to get used to it make sure I gave an honest assessment of it and then number three last year I did a video on the Nocta pulse dive pin pointer right here um, <clears throat> and it was a video about the pulse dive but also tips and tricks on using a pin pointer so if you haven't seen it check out the link in the description box below see that video thing to know about the uh, AccuPoint is it's got a screen on it unlike most other pin pointers or all pin pointers I know of it's got a screen it's also got one button control for all the different functions that it has and it has a ton of functions this thing is like the Swiss Army knife of pin pointers it's got more features than you could imagine in a pin pointer but the question is is does it do them well so the single button control take some getting used to um, and after 10 hunts I can tell you you do get used to it but it's cumbersome um, there's a delay in changing settings on the fly it takes time um, and it's easy to make a mistake <laughs> uh, so it's it's just not that user-friendly to have a single button for so many features and functions the other thing is is with the screen now in bright sunlight the screen is hard to see even changing the the uh, lighting settings on the back lighting settings on the screen and also as you're digging in the dirt the screen gets dirty it gets hard to see <clears throat> you constantly have to stop and clean off the screen in order to see what you're doing as you're trying to make changes so the screen and the single button not all that great in my opinion Now the Bluetooth setting was the one I was most looking forward to. The uh, Pulse Dive paired with the green headphones from the Simplex, but it didn't have Bluetooth technology, so you couldn't link it to the Bluetooth headphones with the Legend. So that was one thing that I was really looking forward to. Now when you, <clears throat> now when you get the AccuPoint, you have to upgrade your Legend to version 1.13 of the software, do a factory default setting, which erases all of your settings you ever made <laughs> which was a pain and then uh, you compare the uh, Bluetooth headphones of the legend to the legend and to the AccuPoint in theory now the version 1.13 is supposed to make them play nice together unfortunately and you'll see it in my upcoming videos it didn't pair nicely with the legend the legend refused to talk to the headphones once I've updated the uh, software uh, I even bought separate Bluetooth headphones and it wouldn't even talk to them either. So I did the uh, 1.13 update several times, factory default several times, nothing worked. Finally, I downloaded 1.11 of the software back onto the Legend. Uh, I can't use my AccuPoint with the headphones, but the Legend now talks to the headphones again finally. So the Bluetooth, for me, for whatever reason, whatever quirk, it just didn't work. Now the AccuPoint also comes with nine levels of sensitivity to choose from. And that sounds impressive, but the differences in sensitivity are so tiny between the levels that nine levels is really excessive and unnecessary. Uh, four would have been fine. Um, nine is just crazy. Uh, it's just not that great. The other thing is, is that uh, as a pinpointer, you're relying on it to help find targets. And there were times when small targets in the ground, the AccuPoint would find them and then they disappear and it wouldn't be able to find them again. 
Um, here's a clip. A little off to the side. So as a pinpointer, it really let me down um, trying to find small targets in the ground. Now another unique feature of the AccuPoint is its ability to distinguish between forest and non-forest. And you have options. You have uh, all metal mode, you have uh, two-tone mode, and you have iron discrimination. Now just like a detector, it can be fooled. Uh, now modern rusty iron, it had no trouble distinguishing, but hand forged iron like uh, square nails and things like that, sometimes it was fooled. Uh, also low conductors, fatty Indians, nickels, things like that, it would signal as if it was iron and it, it wasn't iron. So uh, I kept it in two tone for most of the hunts just to see how it did. Uh, and it, it struggled to distinguish between some things. So not all that successful in that as well. It also has a frequency shift. There's three frequencies you can choose between and so sometimes it would uh, interfere with the uh, legend. You get feedback or interference with the uh, legend uh, while you were using it. So the frequency shift did work in minimizing that interference. So that was a good thing. Like the Pulse Dive, it does have a rechargeable battery inside. So I charged it when I first got it, and it held up through the 10 hunts. No problem at all, so that's a good thing. The battery does last a long time. It has a lost pinpointer alarm, which I never tried out, but I uh, usually keep my pinpointer on a lanyard, so I don't have to worry about uh, losing my pinpointer as I go along. But it doesn't have that feature, which can be nice. Thing. It does come with a uh, replacement tip, so uh, as one wears out, you can change it to the new one. Uh, they do wear out as you poke around in the dirt and the rocks and all that, so that's a good feature as well. Bottom line is, is that the AccuPoint comes packed with a ton of features. Unfortunately, a lot of them don't work all that well. The ones I was looking forward to the most, like the Bluetooth, it just didn't work at all. So I've switched back to the Pulse Dive, uh, and I'll be keeping the AccuPoint as my backup pinpointer, just in case the, the uh, Pulse Dive dies or anything like that. But uh, for now, it's just going off to sit with my Simplex uh, and be my spare. So there's my assessment. It's really not worth it. Uh, the Pulse Dive is far better uh, at being a pinpointer. So. There you have it for what it's worth. Have you used the AccuPoint? Uh, if you have and you have any comments, leave them below. If you have any questions, make sure to ask. But hey, thanks for watching. Uh, come along on the next adventure. Don't forget, hit like and subscribe. We'll see you then.